Hello, friends. As always, it is good to be with you. I want to remind you of a prophetic word that has been spoken for several months now, and it is found in Isaiah 43. I want you to look at verse 19, Isaiah 43, verse 19. It says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I actually want to stop there because we've expanded on this word. If you haven't heard this prophetic word that uh, Jerry gave back in, oh, actually, I think it was 2019. Uh, I encourage you to find it and listen to it because we sensed at that time that God was beginning to do a new thing. And shall we not know it? Well, now there is evidence and proof that God really is do doing something new. But I want to ask you a question. Have you made room for the new thing that God is doing? Let me tell you what I mean. Many years ago, I don't even remember what I was involved in, but I do remember where I lived. We lived here in Anaheim on Bedford, and I remember coming home from church, and I fell on my bed, and I was absolutely exhausted and drained and felt overwhelmed. And uh, I remember saying, Lord, man, something doesn't feel right. I am drained. And now let me tell you, ministry is hard work. I'm used to uh, feeling tired from hard work, but not drained, not overwhelmed and where your life is just being taken out of you, where you feel like you're just hanging in there. That's not my normal. And so I knew something is off. And as I lay there on, on my bed, on my back saying, Lord, I need you to help me. The Lord said something that was so simple and so profound. He said, You've, you have embraced the new without letting go of the old. In other words, God was doing a new thing back then. And so I was trying to embrace the new thing he was doing, but I didn't want to let go of the old. And uh, oh boy, I recognized part of the reason I didn't want to let go of the old is because I loved the old. I loved what I was doing. I loved the, the, the fruitfulness that was coming from that season of time. But to let go of the old meant I made room for the new. That's where the drain was coming from. That's why I was exhausted. And let me ask you again, have you made room for the new? Because God is doing something new, but if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling drained, if you feel like I, I can barely even just make it one day at a time, then, then part of the, part of what you may want to consider and look at is, are you trying to receive what God has for you in this season without letting go of what he's had for you in the past? It is not easy to let go of the things that we love, that we're comfortable with. Maybe we don't even love them so much, but we become comfortable in them. And for God to do something new, for God to do uh, his deep and wonderful and marvelous work in your life, for him to be able to give to you what he has and for you to be able to receive what he has, then you've got to let go of some of those things that are holding you back. You know, it's like a, a closet when you uh, buy new clothes, come on, and all of the ladies and some of you guys, you know you love getting some new stuff. But when you buy uh, new things, you find, oh my goodness, I don't have room in my closet. Well, oftentimes you have things there that you should have already gotten rid of. It's not that they didn't serve you well for a season, but it's time for the new. And so I want us to pray today because I do believe that we must make room for what God has. That the normal human side of us wants to hold on to that which we've known. But where God is leading us, it is almost like that Abraham promise. Leave the land to a land that I will show you. Leave your house, leave what you're comfortable with, and I will show you as you begin to step out. And so there's a comfort that we're used to that God's saying, where I'm taking you, be comfortable with discomfort. Be comfortable with discomfort. That's not a bad thing. It really isn't. But it does require you and I to trust the Lord in a deeper way, in a more meaningful way. Trust him actually with all of our hearts so that we can continue to follow him into this new path. So I want to pray for you, but I ask you to pray. Because the Holy Spirit will be able to direct you. If you ask Him, He will show you things that you're hanging on to that He never meant for you to hang on to. And then may He give you the strength then to let go of those things. So as I pray for you, would you pray? Father God, we thank you. Behold, truly you are doing a new thing. Shall we not see it? Oh, we see it. It has already begun. 
This is a new era, a new day, and you are doing things that you have never done with us before. And so we receive of the new that you have. We thank you for the new. We thank you for the new. As a matter of fact, some of you are afraid of the new. And I come against that spirit of fear in the name of Jesus, that spirit of fear that would break off of you so that the new becomes exciting to you, so that there's joy in you walking in the newness that God has for you. So Lord, thank you. We receive what you have for us in its fullness. We open up our arms wide to receive from you. And now, Holy Spirit, you you who have been sent to guide us into all truth, I pray that as my brothers and sisters are praying and asking you, that you would show us things that have become a part of our lives, things that were even good in a season that we need to let go of. Speak to us, Lord, by your precious Holy Spirit and show us those things so that we can now walk away from them and be filled with what you have in this season. Thank you that your new plan is full of your grace and your empowerment. So Lord, thank you that your your ways are not burdensome. They're not draining. They don't suck the life out of us. They give us life. And so we receive what you have for us with joy and with gratitude in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. So as the Holy Spirit begins to show you, I encourage you, make the decision to let go of the old. May he strengthen you in the inner man by your spirit to make the right decisions. Because let me tell you, what is before you is worth letting go of anything that needs to be let go of to embrace the fullness of what he has in this new day. Be strengthened, my brothers and sisters. Thank you for watching today. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these videos. And if you'd like to start a house church, either with The Rock, a four-square church, or with Solid Lives, our global discipleship and church planning ministry, go to one of those websites. Go to therock.com for The Rock or solidlives.com for Solid Lives. Click on House Churches and fill out the interest form. We'd love to partner with you to advance the kingdom of God.